What's up guys? So recently I have got into streaming and I've been watching a lot of different types of streamers. I've been watching p female streamers, male streamers, couple streamers. I've been watching a lot of streams and I've been watching them on Mixer, Twitch and YouTube. And I actually quite enjoy streaming. I think streaming is very fun and I think a lot more people should get involved in it. I would love to have a little army of streamers. That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> so basically, one of the main questions that I've seen in the streams that I've been watching is a lot of people are asking the streamers while they're playing their games and trying to entertain an audience is what streaming software do they use? Now, of course, naturally streamers are very, very polite and they do generally try to answer this question to people, but trying to go step by step and explain to them exactly what it is it's quite difficult because they're concentrating not only on a game, but they're also trying to entertain as well to keep an audience. And it's a bit unfair really for people to be asking like what what streaming software and how do you, how do you use it to a streamer while they're streaming? But um, I thought, hey, do you know what? I'll do a little bit of tutorial work on OBS because that is what I generally use when I'm streaming. Now I do have an Elgato to stream from my console and that comes with a software as well. Now I'm not a fan of the Agato streaming software but they have updated it and they do allow now to have uh, skins and they do allow to have a uh, video on, on top of it as well which is pretty good which is something you didn't have originally and what actually brought me to using OBS. But I thought hey you know what OBS let's get going. So the first thing when you get OBS, you want to go into your settings and change up some things. Now, as you can see, I have a, a dark version, but this is because I have changed it from the default, which is this. Now, there's nothing wrong with this actual default. It's clean, it's crisp, it's it doesn't look bad. I just prefer the actual dark version. Now, there's two other versions as well, um, which I've actually just noticed because I haven't really gone into the settings of this since I got it. So this is one of the settings. This one's not bad. It's still very much on a dark theme. And this one is another one which is not bad either. Again, it's on a dark screen. I'm not a fan of the sky blue color though. So I think I'm going to go back to my actual dark theme. The next item you'll be looking at is the stream side of things. And this is where you'll be choosing where you'll be streaming to. Now in the services, there is a list. You have Twitch, YouTube, Smashcast, never heard of it. This and that's new, I'm gonna look that up myself. Then you have Mixer.com and you have two Mixer.com. So this is actually, would be on your Mixer settings. So you'll find out what if you're FTL or RTMP. And this makes a difference, I don't know, with your stream key. So depending on which one you are, you'd have a different stream key. I think for me, if I'm using Mixer, I am RTMP. And then of course, then you have Daily Motion, and you have Facebook, you have Restream, never really heard, never heard of least, uh, Restream. Uh, Live Ed TV, never heard of that one either. And then of course you have Twitter and Pinterscope. Now, I don't know anyone who's actually ever used uh, OBS to do anything other than Twitch, Facebook, and Mixer. Of course, naturally, your stream key is a secret, so you don't want to be giving that to anyone because, well, you could get your account suspended or something like that if they do inappropriately stuff, inappropriately, if I use my English correctly. Anyway, next thing you want to look at is output. Now, output is quite important, especially when you're streaming because it goes on your actual internet capability. Now, I'm lucky enough, I actually have some decent internet and I have set mine to 2500. I think 2500 is the kind of middle ground. It works brilliantly for me. At encoder, I, th I think is default. It's uh, by 264. And then audio bitrate again is default 160. And down here on the recording side of things, I have a folder set to my desktop. And there I have saved all my recordings to. All recording of my videos are the same as my stream quality. So my stream quality at the moment is 720p and this is a Twitch recommendation. Uh, recording format is MP4 because it's just easier to edit and you're not really losing any quality when you export out again for YouTube at MP4. And yeah, so that's another thing. Now you're going to your audio settings. So again, this is all default. I haven't touched it. so. I don't recommend anyone go along and mess with this. 
Now, there are options for you to have two audio streams, and that's if you want to play music on your streams. Now, I don't really understand all of that just quite yet, because I'm still quite a noob when it comes to OBS, but maybe at some stage I might dabble in it. Again, video, I have it set to... Um, resolution is 1920 by 1080 output is 1280 by 720 and frames per second is 30 now 30 frames per second for me works fine and you can put up to 60 if you're able to have it at 60 I personally am not able to have it at 60 so I keep it at 30 and this kind of stops it lagging like it could do and then of course you have your advanced side of things if you want to go into the actual advanced side of things and I'm just going to cancel out that because I think I just done something and I don't understand what exactly what I just did so yeah I'm just going to cancel all that and we're going to go back into our screen now when you are starting off fresh when you open up OBS you're going to have absolutely nothing here so I do have a screen selection so I have stream twitch video YouTube and cam only now, at the moment, I'm in my stream settings is because I really don't use this one at all. And I just created it for my video. So you can just go into new or you can duplicate one you already have. You can rename one or you can remove it and so on and so forth. Now, first of all, you want to be able to record your screen. So let's look at the actual screen. So I'm going to create a new scene. I'm just going to call this suit one. And now we have a blank screen. Here, I'm now going to go to add and I'm going to click on display capture and I'm going to call this screen and boom, we're back in with our screen. What a joy. Now, I am missing my webcam, so I have to go get my webcam. By the way, this is my webcam. This is what I'm currently using and this cost me about 25 euros and it's a pretty decent webcam. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty decent webcam and it's all that up because it's just laying on my bed. Okay, next thing is next. We want to have some audio. So naturally you want again you want to go to oh next thing you want to do is you want to go to add and then you want to go to audio input capture. I'm gonna call this mic one and I'm then going to have it set to my USB microphone which is connected to my computer. So I'm gonna click OK on that and now I have my mic. Ideally, you can actually have more than one audio source coming into your computer. And in some cases, you can actually have a mic. And you could possibly have it set to your default. And this should be recording double sound, but I don't really want that. But um, you can also always just mute. It's cool. It's cool. Just mute. It's fine. Um, I'm just going to delete that because I was just showing you for things. Now, naturally, when you actually create, when you open up your first um, time OBS, you do actually have a desktop audio recording. So it records your desktop sound, but uh, I don't have that. But um, next thing, because it's a new scene. Actually, why is that? That's strange. Now we have our mic set up. So naturally, now you want to set up your webcam because you want people to see your face, like I do. I like people to see my ugly face. And then you will want to go into video capture device, and I'm gonna call this cam, and click okay. Now, I have two webcams. I have my built-in webcam, as well as my external webcam. And for that, I obviously don't like this actual webcam on my computer. I don't think the quality is all that great, which is actually not bad quality, oddly enough. But I'd rather have my actual good webcam, which you can see. And look at how horrible my face is. Uh, you can actually configure your video as well if you're using a webcam. So you can change the brightness, uh, white bands. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, recommended not zoom into my face because it's ugly as it is. It's too ugly. Can click OK. Now, as because I am using a green screen, I'm just going to resize it by double clicking here. As you can see, I'm using a green screen behind me. Now, there is a thing that you can do. If you are using a green screen, you can go into filters and then go into add and camera key. And I call this, I'm going to call this screen one. And boom, it's gone. 
not making any adjustments to it. You can if you want. I'm personally not doing this. And boom. I don't have any green screen behind me. Well, you can see a little bit, but I'm not really too worried about that because this is a tutorial. I'm going to turn off the webcam off this now because that's just scary. Having two of me on the screen must be really, 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 really hard with all your eyes. But that is basically setting up your OBS and you're more or less ready to rock and roll with your stream. Anyway, on that note, if, if this was any way helpful, guys, don't forget to give me a good old like. If you haven't subscribed, you can click over here to subscribe. And, well, as always, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you very soon. Peace!